Uh, welcome back. So prior, I was talking about how to put Windows on your Mac easily using the included Bootcamp Assistant application. It's part of the utility folders. Go to application, you get Bootcamps, and then divide the partitions, determine that ratios, and then install Windows for yourself. Start your Mac, press and hold the you know, option button, or you can go to the system preferences and select start up this. You will see Windows, hard drive, and just select that and restart. This is very easy. So secondly, I'm going to talk about something slightly much deeper. And this time, you don't have to reinstall Windows again. We got lots of people kept asking me if they have true the things like Windows CD out to the trash, and then can it just, do they have to just go to the shopping malls and get a new CD for Windows? No. Um, there is another choice we call Paro Desktop or VMware Fusions. Okay, both of these two company they haven't paid me the commissions. Okay, I'm not that presenter. Both of them are available for sales, not for free. VMware Fusion and Power Desktop allow to run Windows and Mac at the same time simultaneously. This is very easy. Okay, this is very easy, but, but, in general, I would not suggest this. Because firstly, you might knew, you already knew more than me. Of course, you run two OS at the same time simultaneously. Your computer requires more RAMs. Your computer work harder, and these application even generates higher temperatures to your motherboard. So your motherboards tend to be more vulnerable and tend to be easily broken in the future. I'm not trying to trend you, but I'm your messenger. For instance, you have the latest model of the MacBook Pro, for instance, like 17 inch or 15 inch. And the MacBook Pro model, they put two graphic cards into one MacBook Pro. If you run Windows on your Mac using Power Desktop or VMware Fusions, the Windows will pick up the stronger card with cause more heat to your motherboard. You can hear the fan spin so fast, and also it generates even higher temperatures that you can feel it. You can't put keyboard silicone cover on your keyboard anymore because the fan is underneath the keyboard. And also it drains even more energy from your battery. In general, battery is supposed to be able to last up to seven hours on one charge. It may last for only two and a half or three hours. Probably you might get different consequences. I'm not trying to argue with someone, but this is from my five year experience working for a Mac retail store. I've been doing this, I've been sleeping with Mac all the time. So I knew what I'm talking about. So you have to reconsider first, do you really need to use that window? Firstly, ask yourself, define yourself, who you really are. How do you plan using a computer for? Do you have to use window on your Mac? Like someone kept asking me about, okay, they want to play game on a Mac. So I asked him, okay, I beg him, please kind of search for a Mac version for that game first. Okay, just go to GameSpot and get SIM for Mac, okay? Because some games, they are available, I mean, largely available, tremendously, on Mac. But if you have other, any other choice, okay, that's fine, okay, you want to install Windows because you love this game so much, you have to play this game, you got no choice, that's fine, go ahead and install Windows for yourself. But use Bootcamp, I think it's much better. But in general, I think Snow Leopard is, I think Snow Leopard is pretty quick in order to you know, restart the cell. You know, compared to the prior leopards or the tiger one, strong leopards are pretty fast, and things will cause you more hassle. But, probably desktops and also the VMware Fusions can be a very nice, ideal, additional plug-in if you might want to just, okay, to see the exchange rate for the money, to see the mail received Outlook Express, because lots of people kept asking me about the concern using Outlook for Mac. Because there is no outlook for Mac, okay? There is another one, pretty much the same but slightly different. It's called Entourage. Entourage is a part of Microsoft Office 2008 for Macs, okay? And they don't want to switch to mail for Mac, so they got no choice. They got to use Windows, install Windows through boot camps or Power Desktop, and then. So in order to install Windows using Power, you don't have to reinstall the Windows. Just install the parallels, okay? 
and just go to control panels in parallels and then select the hard drive to be boot camp that's it okay so you don't have to reinstall window again and from my opinion let me get this straight and I just want to make myself very clear right here both of them don't pay me the commissions to promote their products okay so you can choose to be perfectly honest I knew which one is better but I don't want them to sue me so try both of them first or try to read some reveal on the internet by yourself to choose whether which one is good for you okay but in general I, I would suggest to use the free stuff which is the bootcam 3.1 which is available throughout any you know Apple machines pre-installed with the Snow Leopard it's very important so you got three options bootcam pro and don't forget the most stable one is a Windows XP Home Edition because Windows 7 even drain more energy and also you're gonna feel exhausted all the time using this because it requires more resource to generate a cell, requires more powerful RAMs, requires you know larger hard drive, requires you know faster processor, you know you know generates enough energies to run this application. Sometimes you go for something higher. In terms of Mac users, try to let use any of these as less as possible because, as I said, you are a Mac user. You won't get infected by computer viruses, but if you install Windows on your Mac, you can get viruses anyway. So, but of course you can drag some good files to Mac hard drive on one computer and then just reformat that and then drag all good files back to that hard drive, but it's going to cause you some hassle. So, as I said earlier, try to define yourself what exactly you want to do. Just search for the application first or the Mac version. Okay, you couldn't find it. You go for the next step. Try something similar something pretty much the same probably like it doesn't have to be exactly the same but similar okay we, we always have a choice some free stuff right and then lastly we can just okay that's why we put windows on our Mac okay there are no free stuff available on Macs and then for the next clips I'm going to talk about something that's very important to a Mac user which is called the Apple Care Protection Plan thanks for watching